BBC Radio Berkshire. So when you think of Heathrow, it's not always about the planes and about the tarmac and about Terminal 5. We're also here looking at the environmental and biodiversity of the airport. Up ahead, we're going to meet Ricardo. Hi, Ricardo, pleased to Hi. meet you. Hi. Hi. Ricardo, tell us what you do here then at the airport. Uh, so I look after a number of environmental uh, initiatives, um, including here at the Twin Rivers, um, where this used to be uh, essentially a couple of pipes that used to run from the north of the airport to the south of the airport. Now you can see it's sort of fully formed sort of rivers and a river population. Today we're going to have a look and see how the, that fish population is developing from what was zero um, to uh, we've got about four different types of species uh, at last count. So we're going to have another look and see uh, how we're getting on. Essentially what we do is we stun the fish and, 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 and inspect them uh, to, as I say, understand the range of species but also understand the range of ages that we've got because the idea is that we make sure that we've got a sort of regenerate, the fish are regenerating so that we can see the population is um, sustaining itself. So we're starting at the bottom stop net so that encloses the, the survey section and we're going to work our way up, up, up the river going side to side to, to keep the field sort of nice and close together so that fish can't get past us. So any fish that come, we come into contact with will be, will be stunned and we'll net them out as quickly as we can. Stephen, Alex and Mike are just working their way up the river at the moment. They've probably done about 50 metres so far. You can actually see some of the fish that they're catching now are really quite big. They're stunned, so the fish are just in the water and they're still putting them in the blue buckets. But as you look, I mean, this is how close we are to Heathrow. Terminal 5 over there. A plane just flying overhead, but then you have the Twin Rivers right at the bottom of Heathrow, right at the bottom here of the runway and on the perimeter. Mike, are you pleased with how many you've got? Yeah, that's not a bad sample, actually, for, you know, that's, that's pretty, looking pretty good. We've got some good size ranges, we've got different species. So we've got some roach, which are these silvery ones with the red fins, um, and they're pretty ubiquitous in UK rivers, they're quite common. Fish are a really good indicator of, of, of what's happening in terms of the water quality and the habitat. So a good fish, fish population is a sign of, of a healthy river. So, so we'll, we'll weigh and measure each fish individually, um, so the length of the fish and its weight, and that gives an indication um, of, of, you know, of the different size ranges that you have. You know, certainly the results we have here suggest that the, the water quality is very good and the fish population is healthy and, and, and reproducing and, uh, and thriving. My name's Russell Knight, I'm Environmental Operations Manager for the airport. The Twin Rivers as you see them now were constructed as part of the T5 development. Originally the rivers used to run in a couple of big pipes under the end of the airport and um, that would have posed a significant barrier to fish movements up and down the, the rivers. Within these two concrete channels we've created a natural pool and riffle sequence and it's uh, resulted in the fishery that you see here now and the improvement to the overall ecology in and around Heathrow so I'm really proud of this project. So from the Twin Rivers we're now going to be going on to our next site. Russell where are we heading to? So we're heading off to Mayfield Farm that's one of the facilities that we've got that we can treat surface water runoff that comes off the airport um, from winter operations. For safety reasons and to make sure that we don't have any problems with both the aircraft and the, the runways and taxiways we have to de-ice them and we tend to use um, glycol based de-icers now, glycol behaves a bit like things like beer and milk and sugar. If you let too much of it out, that can cause problems in watercourses as they, as they feed on the glycol, they strip oxygen. All this water is because you de-ice the planes, you get all of that de-icer running off the airport and then you want to make sure that you then turn it into what would be naturally occurring healthy water. Absolutely, we believe the right thing to do is to take the glycol out and put the clean water back because what we don't want to do is deprive the environment of clean water. Oh my goodness, the rain is really coming down now. So what you can hear in the background there is, is the water just trickling into the, the reed bed here and if you see we've got lots of stone in there and on the surface of the stone there's naturally occurring bacteria growing. They're feeding on that glycol and they're treating the water and they're purifying it before we discharge it out to the environment. So there we go. We've gone from the lovely sunshine at the other site, looking at the fish, counting the fish population, to the amazing reed beds here 
and the purifying of that water from the runoff from the plains. But unfortunately, the weather isn't on our side. Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. If you can use some exotic booze, there's a bar in far Bombay. Come on.